Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today, I have a really cute treat holder to share with you. This is my original design. This actually came out of a mistake. <laughs> I love when that happens <laughs> because they always end up turning out to be like one of my favorites. So I may change this up a bit. I'm just, I'm deciding when I was finishing this up, I thought I could do this a little bit different but not the box itself, but the decorations. So this is the little box I'm sharing. This is Mrs. from the kitchen of Mrs. Claus. I put some little lights on here and these little bows, but um, it opens like this. It's got Velcro on it and it has the little handle and you can fill it with whatever kind of treats you like for Christmas. And then it just Velcros back together to close it. But isn't it cute? I may do it the exact same way, but I'm going to look at something different as we're making it. So I love the little handle on it and it looks like that from the side. So this is what I'm sharing today. I hope you like it because I really loved how it turned out and it I love when mistakes happen like this. This has happened to me several times where I've done uh, boxes and then they turn out differently than what my head had, I had in my head. <laughs> so this is what I'm sharing. What we're gonna use for this is of course the Naughty and Nice again. I love this one. I told you it was gonna be one of my favorite. It's, it's just got everything in it for treat boxes, bags, and all that. It's just one of my favorite. I love this little circle and um, like peppermint circle and the sentiments are so cute and I just love it. So I'm using this and from the kitchen of Mrs. Claus with this little design right there. And then I'm also using the filled with cheer. This is another favorite of mine. I've already used this. I've used this for um, a box. I have a good idea here for this little snowman, but we ha we're going to wait for till Christmas for that one. <laughs> and I'm using these lights here. And I already uh, stamped them and cut them out. And the dies that go with this are the filled with fun dies. So if you look online in the online of exclusives, it's not gonna come as a bundle. You have to get the filled with fun dies because this actually goes with another stamp set as well. So just look for the fun with um, filled with fun dies and you'll get the dies for this to cut out that little circle, to cut out this little um, wagon here, and the little bulbs, Christmas bulbs. All right, so I'm using for the handle the nested, uh, nested Essentials dies, and I'm using this one right here. So we're using two of them. We're just going to layer them. And the designer series paper are our Regals 6x6. Now this comes in all our family colors. I'm almost out of the real red because I used it on another project as well. And I'm going to use this for the roof part this time because I decided it would look more like a little roof. All right, so let's get started with this. You are going to need some real red. And it is 9 by 8. And then you're going to cut four pieces that are 2 and 7 eighths by 1 and 3 eighths. And then you need two pieces that are 2 and 7 eighths by 1 and 3 eighths. And then this piece is 1 half by 3, and I'll show you what we're going to do for that. Then you need something to stamp. And um, so I'm using basic white thick, and then I already stamped and cut out the little bulbs which this die cuts those out and that is from the filled with fun dies alright so we're gonna stamp the bows and we're gonna run through the two um, essential dies so these are gonna go on here and then I'm just going to stamp on here the little two little bows that we're going to use for this. So let me grab this and I'm going to use Memento because we're coloring those. And I'm just using the light and dark real red lens for this. 
So it's real easy coloring. I'm just going to color them the light first. Is this the light one? Yeah. I'm only going to color the main part of it, the light, and then we're going to just shade it a little bit. It's a real, real easy bow to color. I'm going to do one at a time because I don't want the ink to dry. Just do them both the exact same way. Just gonna blend that a little bit. All right, I'm gonna color this one, but I'll speed through this one. Okay, so we got the coloring done on that. I do have to fussy cut the bows because there are not dies for these. I wish there was, but. <laughs> I haven't found a die that goes with it. So I'm going to do that. And again, I'll just speed through the fussy cutting. If you have a scan and cut, use your scan and cut. I would cut these out um, with my scan and cut if I was going to do a bunch. Okay, my bows are all cut out, and I didn't stamp the sentiment. And we need to fussy cut that as well, because it does have a die, um, but I don't have, I mean, it has a punch, not a die. And, but I don't have it, so I'm going to just fussy cut it. So we're going to just do the frame first. And I'm going to use my, um... Versifying for the words because they always come out better. So cute from the kitchen of Mrs. Claus. And then there's a little decoration that I put down at the bottom. And I also, I don't know, for some reason it bothered me that it didn't have a dash on this side. So I just made my own. <laughs> I know, things like that drive me crazy. All right, I'm going to fussy cut this, and then we'll be ready to move on with the box. Okay, now everything is ready to go. I'm going to send this through the cut and emboss, and we will have that all ready. And by the way, you'll want to save this because that's a really good part for to use on another project. All right, and then I didn't actually color my little light bulbs, so I need to do that. And I am also using blends for that. And we're going to use the real red. I'm going to just use the dark. And we're just going to color these. Just solid. I'm not blind, I'm not um trying to shadow anything or shade anything. We are just going to color these. I'm just going to randomly color them, but I'm coloring them the same. And then these are really quick. <laughs> Some of them I didn't use twice, but it's just the way it worked out. I think I put green on the end. Aren't they cute though? I love these little light bulbs, these little Christmas lights. All right, these are all ready to go. Now let's do our box. 
we're going to need to score. So on the piece that is 9 by 8, we're going to score on the 9 inch side at 1 half. I'm just going to try to see, I already went off. I'm going to try to be really careful. At <laughs> one half, two, three and a half, six, and seven and a half. And then you're going to turn it on the eight inch side and you're going to score it at one, two and a half. Five and a half and seven. All right, that's it. All right, so you are going to have a half inch side on this side. So, what we're going to do is you are going to cut these four right here off. Going to do that on both sides. And then we're going to cut down the sides here to the second score mark. And we're going to cut these two right here off at the bottom. You're going to cut off the tops of these. And you're going to leave this one. This is going to be a flap that um, your so your candy won't fall out. Kind of like what I usually do. <laughs> but for the inside of the box, I just didn't like it opened. So I redid it and made those um, little flaps. So we're going to do the same on here. Cut these two bottom ones off. And then this top one too. Just like that. Now you can cut into these a little bit. These are going to fold into your box here. Boy, I'm sorry if it's noisy out there. It seems like someone's working next door, my neighbor, and my dog's barking. <laughs> She will bark at every little thing. She is a barker for sure. She's gotten better though with it because we, we try to teach her, but she's still a puppy puppy, even though she looks, she's monstrous. <laughs> all right, so this is how this is gonna go. We're gonna sharpen all our score marks. I'm anxious to see what I have in my mind if it's going to look cuter. If this was alive, y'all, I'd be asking you which way I should do it. I love the cooperation <laughs> on a live, but I haven't one. I haven't done one in so long. Um, I really want to get back to it, but y'all, there's been so much. I have so much going on, you know, work, and work's been really busy, and yeah, and this is my part-time job, actually. Both of them are part-time. So this is really, this is my business, actually. I say it's part-time, but I work full-time at it. So these are going to come up. It's, it's funny, I'm still going to try to do the other box that I had in my head. But <laughs> and then these are folding in, so this helps so, so your candy doesn't fall um, out. So we're going to go ahead, this is how it's going to go. 
we're going to grab our little handle here and I'm going to cut it, I'm not in half, but a little bit longer on one side. Um, try to make it even. And we are going to glue it. I'm going to just use some Seal Plus on the ends here. And we are going to just glue it to the top here. It's amazing how it all worked out too, because this handle fit perfectly this size. That doesn't always happen. And then we are going to use this half inch piece over the top because I don't like the way that looks. <laughs> I mean, you can leave it if it doesn't bother you, but I just like it to be look nice. And we're going to grab my Velcro dots. And we're going to put two. These Velcro dots are listed in the description. I know a lot of, it took me a long time to find where I could get them again. And I have them linked in the description. And believe me, if you buy from my link, I do get a tiny, tiny, like when I say tiny, I mean tiny commission. <laughs> From the sale so I would appreciate it if you did use it I mean it's like you want to pull this up so it stands up now once you get your velcro on there but you see how that just hooks in there oh, okay. get this straight Me, I'm so particular. Sometimes I drive myself crazy, y'all. Okay, there we go. And then the handle's up like that. All right, now let's mat it all. I'm going to use the striped one for the roof part this time. Y'all can tell me in the comments which way you like this better. I always love your feedback. Oops, it's just ran out. So let me grab another one. Well, we're going to use glue because my... I need to put a new refill in there. It kind of looks like a house, right? That's, that's my thought on this. <laughs> and then we're going to just mat. Oh, I, you didn't need four of these. You only need two since... Oh no, I'm doing the sides with this, I think. No, I didn't do the sides. What am I thinking here? I'm all confused now. So you need just the two. I did do four because I put the other ones on the top here. But you only need two of the striped and two of the circles. If you want to do the sides, you can do the sides. Let's see. It just need be a little bit. Um, smaller. I don't like the sides on this one matted for some reason. Alright, so this is what I was thinking on this. Now I'm going to put the Mrs. Claus, I'm thinking I might put that up here this time. And then put the lights down here like they're hanging off the roof. What do y'all think? And then I could put my bows like that. I don't know. I don't know if I like the Mrs. Claus at the top. And then just have that like hanging on both sides. Let me do it that way and y'all can decide what you like the best. <laughs> Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> this all ran out. All right, I need to use my wet glue. I'm going to do it that way, y'all. We're going to see what it actually looks like when it's done. Because I thought if it looks like a house, I that would be like the roof line right there. It would be hanging. And it almost tempted to use dimensionals on the ends there so that they stick out. I'm going to. I'm going to use a mini um, glue, mini dimensionals. 
We're going to use one on each side here. This is how my thought process goes, y'all, when I'm <laughs> I'm working on something and then I get this other idea. So that they're kind of popped out there. Can you see how that is there? I don't know. And then we're going to use minis on these two, these little bows. We're just only going to put the bows on the front. You don't even have to put them. But I thought the bows were so cute. I wanted to add them. Maybe the bows I didn't need to put on. Um, since I popped up... No, I don't like those on dimensionals. Since I popped up the... I have them on dimensionals on the other one. But since I popped up the bulbs... Christmas bulbs. I'm just going to put these flat. Yeah, I like that better. Oop, where are you going? Okay. That glue doesn't want to... Uh, you know what? I think I like it better the other way. What do you think? I don't think the bows need to be on there if you're going to put it down at the bottom here. What if I put a bow up here? Yeah, let's put the bow there. Wipe off that glue. Alright, let's do that and then let's put our other one on the other side. Yeah, I think the bow looks cuter up at the top. Not on the bulbs here. Okay. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I like it my original way or I like it better um, this way. So here's the two ways. Which way do you like it better? Put it in the comments because I'm really curious <laughs> what you think. I don't know, but I love the box. It's so adorable. You can use this for any occasion. This would be really cute little um, birthday treat holders too for like a birthday party. You can make them because they got the little handles and they're so cute. I hope that you enjoyed it, everyone. If you need any supplies, here's my July host code. If you use it, I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a blessed day, and I will catch you in the next video. See you later, everyone. Thank you for watching. Bye.